Good morning and welcome to WSRH News, your leading source for news at Seminole Ridge High. I'm Lillian Amirian. And I'm Taylor Sims. Today is Wednesday, November 15th, and we got a lot to tell you this morning. But first, today's top story. Today in the cafeteria, lunch ladies will be serving Thanksgiving meals to all the teachers for free in order to express how grateful we are for their hard work. WSRH News reporter Haley Allen has more on the story. Good morning, Hawks. Today I'm here with Erica Roll and the cafeteria manager to talk about the Thanksgiving lunch she's hosting for teachers and staff. So, Erica, when and where will the lunch take place? It'll be today in uh, during first and second lunch. Where? It'll be located in the teachers' lounge in the cafeteria. And how long have y'all been taking to like prep all the food? So we started Sunday. Um, my husband, my son, and I were in here for about five hours on Sunday prepping. And then this week, it's been Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday for about three to four hours. I've had some JROTC cadets helping me. I've had some of my staff helping me. And my husband was in here this morning. As I was in here at 5.30, he came in at 6 with my daughter to start getting prepped for all of this stuff. What kind of foods will you have that you can serve for the teachers? So we, of course, have turkey. Um, I've got dressing which is from the south, but you guys would consider it stuffing. And then I have squash casserole, sweet potatoes, mashed potatoes, green bean casserole, um, Caesar salad, cranberry dressing, pumpkin pie, apple pie, pecan pie. <laughs> I have sodas that were donated and waters that were donated on a first come first serve basis on the drinks. Wow, do you have anything to say for your teachers that will be eating soon? I really hope you guys enjoy it, and it's been a lot of hard work, and thanks, guys. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For WSRH News, I'm Haley Allen. Tonight, the Seminole Ridge Band is hosting a concert showing off all their hard work. WSRH News reporter Logan Sanchez has the story. I'm here with NASA talking about the fall concert that's going to be taking place tonight. Uh, what time is the show going to be taking place? Gates open at 6 p.m. for everybody to walk in, and the first song will be played at 6.30. How long will it be? It's only one band playing, so it shouldn't be too long. Um, I'd say at least like 30 minutes to an hour. Who can come and how much are the tickets? It's free and open to the public. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WSRH News, this is Logan Sanchez. Students, SRH Color Guard is holding auditions for winter season. Auditions will be held on November 27th, 29th, and December 1st from 5 to 8.30. No experience is required, though. Make sure to bring all black activewear. Yesterday, several students volunteered to provide blood at the school's blood drive. WSRH news reporter Caden Spaziti has more on the story. Good morning, Hawks. I'm here to interview Ms. Vento about the blood drive. So, when did it happen? Yesterday was our blood drive from 7 to 3. Do you know how many people donated blood? Yes, we had 22 students donate platelets, and then we had 50 students donate whole blood. We had 106 students in all come through. And do you know what the next one is? Yes, our next blood drive on campus is January 23rd. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WRCH News, I'm Kane Swayzidi. First Priority is hosting a Friendsgiving this Friday, November 19th. WRCH News reporter and I'm McMint has more on the story. I'm here with Olivia Reed to talk about the First Priority Friendsgiving. So Olivia, who can come? Everybody is welcome to come. Um, it doesn't matter what you believe. If you ever come before, we'd love to have you there for sure, yeah. What are you guys going to do? Uh, so we're going to play some games, and we're going to get a devotional from one of our other students, and we're going to eat a bunch of food and just hang out. It's going to be really fun. Yeah. What day and time is it on? It's this Friday, November 17th, from 3 to 4.30, in Mr. Moya's room, room 9103. What do you bring? Well, anything. It's a potluck style, so if you're able to bring a dish, please do. But if not, we will have food for you. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WSRC News, I'm Anaya McMeans. This year, seniors are able to submit senior quotes to be added to the yearbook. Seniors must have their senior pictures with Caddy to have their quotes added to the yearbook. The last day to submit a quote is Friday, December 8th. You can submit it through the Class of 2024 Google Classroom or on the yearbook's Instagram page. Every year, Seminole Ridge raises thousands of dollars for life-threatening sicknesses through Dance Marathon, which is now being called Hawkathon. Hawkathon is showing their thankfulness to workers at Nicholas Children's Hospital by making Thanksgiving cards. They can be turned in at Ms. Medved's room, 721212. Every three cards is five community service hours. Congratulations to this week's Hawk of the Week. Ninth grade, Marina Garcia, nominated by Ms. Menke. Tenth grade, Lucas Charleston, nominated by Mr. Lane. 
11th grade, Jada Ward, nominated by Coach Licavoli, and 12th grade, Ali Lennox, no nominated by Miss Mole. Good job, Hawks. Students were nominated based on academic improvements or for their efforts in making our campus better by doing things like helping others, volunteering their time, or even simply picking up trash. Good job, Hawks. Come here up on WRSH News, weather and birthdays. Plus sports. Hey, bro. You want to hit this? Isn't that bad for you? Nah, dude, it's safe. Don't you trust me? Well, if you say so. Want a hit of this? Isn't that bad for you? Nah, bro, don't you trust me? <laughs> well, if you say so. The chemicals found in jewels and other e-cigarettes contain the same harmful metals like lead that are present in gasoline. Visit www.thetruth.com for more information on the harmful effects of vaping. Hey Lily, why are thunderstorms like models? I don't know, why? Because of their striking appearance. Let's go to WRSX meteorologist John Jonah Baker with today's forecast. Good morning Hawks, on today's forecast we have a high of 78, a low of 70 with rain showers. Looking at our three day forecast, on Thursday we have a high of 78, a low of 69 with scattered thunderstorms. On Friday we have a high of 83, a low of 66 with partly cloudy skies. And on Saturday we have a high of 81, a low of 63 with partly cloudy skies. For WSX weather, I'm Jonah Baker. We have a happy birthday going out to Francisco Mateo, Dylan Barrup, Enrico Domingos, Julia Feliz, Brianna Nguyen, and Mason Leyland. Happy birthday. WSRH sports anchor Liam Kane joins us now at the sports desk. I have a lot of sports news for you today. So let's get into it. Girls basketball went up against Palm Beach Lakes yesterday. WSRH news reporter Mason Contessa has a story. I'm here with Jalen Midget after last night's game against Vero Beach. So, how would you say the team did overall? Um, I think we did pretty good, but we have stuff to like improve on. Who are your top performers? I think the whole team because everybody contributed to the game. So what areas do you hope to improve in the most in your next game? Definitely uh, conditioning. Well, th when's your next game? Uh, Thursday. And who are you playing? We play Palm Beach Central. All right, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. For WS Series News, I'm Mason Kintel. Mission to your team kicked off their season with a home meet against Jupiter and Wellington yesterday. WSRH sports reporter Alexis Coffey has more in the story. Today I'm here with Shayla Stillwagon, captain of the cheer team. So I heard you had your first competition yesterday. How many teams were there? Um, there were three teams there. There was Wellington came, Jupiter, and we had our game, game day team compete as well. Um, it was a head-to-head, -head, so it wasn't really like a competition. It was more like um, kind of like a showcase before our big competition this Saturday. How did you think you did? I think we did pretty well. Um, we went twice because the first run wasn't super great, but the second run was really good. Um, so this practice the Thursday, we're just going to keep increasing difficulty and try to perfect our skills for a Saturday to hit. When's your next competition? This Saturday at the South Florida Fairgrounds. Um, we compete at 156, so come support. <laughs> Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. For WSRH News, I'm Alexis Coffey. Taking a look at today's sports calendar, we have a home JV and girls varsity soccer game at 6 against Treasure Coast High School and girls varsity basketball preseason classic at Palm Beach Lakes. Good luck, Hawks. Well, that's it for WSRH Sports. I'm Liam Kane. That you can follow us on social media at Seminole Ridge TV on Twitter and Instagram. Th thank you. Have a great day, Hawks.